to Se Lugar Fe here for Cosmo for Latinas, and I am so excited because today I get to show you how to do Jennifer Lopez's sexy smoky eye and signature JLo glow, as can be seen right now on our winter cover. If you like what you see and want to see more, please make sure that you like and share this video, tweet or comment with any upcoming requests, and of course, don't forget to subscribe. Let's begin with the JLo glow. I'm starting by smoothing and brightening my skin by painting on an illuminating primer all over my face. Now I'm applying a white highlighting cream down my nose, then back up between my brows opening up to my forehead, along the very tip tops of my cheeks, a bit beneath my lower lip, and on my neck. Now I'm applying a full coverage foundation all over my face with a brush, and yes, this color is very light, but it's intentional. It gives me a shortcut for brightening and highlighting since I have uneven skin tone. Next, I'm blotting out any brush marks and unevenness with a circle sponge, and take a look, the highlight is already showing through, which is exactly what we want. Now, JLo always looks bronze, but she never looks overly contoured or orange. So tips for bronze with a hint of structure is to use a dark liquid foundation, which will also help to create the perfect color match for your face. I'm dabbing it and then buffing in the product. And then on my cheeks, I'm using a bronzer blush combo for a little extra, but still subtle dimension. Now I'm applying a highlighting concealer under my eyes in a triangular pattern to get rid of those dark under eye circles that we hate so much. I'm patting the brush so that it blends but without taking away from the coverage. Next a little shimmery coral blush to the apples of my cheeks, as always blend blend blend. And finally, for skin anyway, I'm exaggerating and setting the highlight with a shimmery eyeshadow, believe it or not, and I'm also applying that to the inner corners of my eyes, beneath my brow bone, and on the outer edges of my lower lash line. Oh, and don't forget the neck and the collarbone if they're showing. Now to smoke up those eyes, I'm starting by priming my eyes with a cream copper shadow all over my lid, then I'm applying an ivory shadow on the inner third of my lid and blending it around my eyelid to soften the edges. This is where things might get a little tricky. Practice makes perfect here. I'm lining the eyes with a fine liner marker, keeping the inside very, very thin and then thickening as I work outwards. I add a bit of an outer wing, no need to be perfect here, and then very carefully add a point to the inner corners. Now the entire bottom line needs to be thick and clean, starting from the inner point and then connecting or crossing that wing you made. Make sure to fill everything in and option to line the waterline. Now I'm smoking up the bottom liner with a metallic chocolate, but still try to keep this line as clean as possible. Use the lower lash line as a guideline for a nice little smoky wing, and then use the flat shape of the brush to wedge a contoured edge in, and then turn the brush to outline our eyelid for some sexy cat eye dimension. You can always fix mistakes by using a clean fluffy brush to blend. Now I'm cleaning everything up with a light matte powder, which is also adding a little more coverage to my under eye circles. For brows, avoid using stencils or gels unless you have to, and instead use a powder or a light pencil to fill in your natural shape. Lash time, my favorite! A few pumps with the eyelash curler, and yes, it does make a difference, especially if you're using falsies, and then I'm adding some subtle volume with little lash endies on the outer edges of my lash line. I'm putting lashes on hold as I wait for them to dry, and moving on to lips. We know JLo loves a subtle lip. I'm putting a hint of my foundation on my lips, and now the key here is lip liner. You want the lips to look more natural and nude, but not non-existent. For the first coat of gloss, I'm blending in those edges so I don't look chola crazy, and then loading it on all lovely over. Last, but certainly not least, mascara. I'm using a lengthening and volumizing formula and pushing and rolling against my lashes for max color and curl, and for ultimate volume and to get rid of any clumps, especially on the bottom, I'm layering another formula with a smaller brush and bristles. And I'm all finished. Here you have the final Jennifer Lopez look. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, please, please, please share your favorite Jennifer Lopez looks with us, especially if you decided to recreate it, especially if you decided to recreate this one. I'll see you next time.